Well, 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 welcome back to, uh, Do Not Feed the Monkeys. Uh, last episode we, uh, finished the game, but quite honestly, I was disappointed with how, uh, things ended up turning out in the end. I felt, uh, not dissimilar to how I felt when I got that one kind of okay-ish ending in, uh, Needy Streamer Overload. And so... And you guys seem to like the series pretty well, so we're, we're back again. We're gonna play a new game of Do Not Feed the Monkeys. Now, I have no idea if we're just gonna see the same cages again, or if we're gonna get some new stuff, or what. But, hopefully, we're gonna aim for a better outcome. Uh, in particular, we're gonna leverage the fact that I actually kinda know what I'm doing at this point. We're gonna... You look at those cages, we're gonna get that money from the emails, we're gonna... Use Amazon. We're gonna actually feed these monkeys, perhaps, and who knows? Maybe we'll start a revolution or something. I don't know. That's where these games tend to go, though. Um, div or Avatar, right? We were the cool duck last time, right? We're not paper mode. Sheesh. We're gonna be the cool duck still. It says generating, so that kind of tells you there might be, like, variability to what cages you get. So, what did I do poorly last time? Well, I think I wasted a lot of the early game just not knowing what to do. But simultaneously, I think I... I did really bad at managing my health, so we need to do better with that this time. The Primate Observation Club. Dear new member, following a strict vetting process, your membership application has been approved. Welcome to our club for wildlife enthusiasts. Please read the contract carefully and accept the following terms and conditions. The club is an organization dedicated to the study of primates in their natural habitat. As a member, you have the privilege of observing the specimens in the cages loaded in your Monkey Vision 2.1 application. To maintain your club privileges, you will be obligated to move up one level every five days, which will require you to purchase a certain number of cages. You will start at level 1, Friend of the Monkeys. You will need to purchase five additional cages to move up to the next level. Every five days, the organization will need will meet to evaluate your progress. If you have not met your target, you will be expelled immediately. Do not discuss the club or its activities with anyone. Never uninstall the application. And above all, do not forget that interaction with the primates is strictly forbidden. Remember, do not feed the monkeys. In the event of any infringement of these rules, I grant the club the absolute right to apply the relevant disciplinary, disciplinary measures to me. Day one of Do Not Feed the Monkeys. And apparently, I think they announced the sequel to this game that's coming out in like a couple months, so I might end up playing that, if you, especially if you guys keep liking this. Okay, uh... Alright, so we know you. Uh, oh, we've got like a, three relevance things, okay. Let's get started on this. I bet we can figure this stuff out pretty quick now, because these are all cages we've seen before, granted not at this point in the game. Uh, you... Yeah, there's nothing going on there. Okay. This guy is doing his thing. Alright, great, great, great. Uh, I mean, we can already get started with, uh... Looking this up. We know where this location is. Research terms written in your... Yeah, yeah, we know how to... We know how the tutorials work, okay? Barrett County. Great. Okay, over here. The old hay train. Great, search that up. And we know it has all sorts of stations, including somewhere. Ah, uh, Browning Fields Antenna, right. Okay. And that guy's going to have a conversation sometime. Oh, we got this. This is probably a cage that like, doesn't actually do anything. Alright, uh, we could probably do some jobs. Uh, what time is it? Ah, ten. Okay. Um... Uh, Squirrels in Barrett County. I guess we can just look for Barrett County. Hunters. Gotcha. Okay. Hunters. Barrett County Hunters. Mm hmm. Squirrel Hunters. Okay. Yes, hello? Ah, Masked Maiden. Hey, are you there? Hello. It wasn't easy, but you got in! You passed. You're part of the elite, my friend. You can thank me later, lol. Now you know what you have to do. Play by the rules and save up a ton of money. I told you being a club member wasn't cheap. 
Now don't make me look bad. After all, I've done for you. I've gotta go. Right, your monkey vision, uh, must have just been installed. I suppose you're dying to observe your cages, but be careful. Because this shit's addictive. What do you mean? This is worse than tobacco. I spent so much time on it the first on the first on it the first week that I didn't eat or sleep. I almost ended up in the hospital. So eat properly. And rest from time to time. Okay, well thank talk, we'll talk again soon. Great. Uh right, back to monkey vision. Um you can go over there. Uh, anything of note in the fields? We'll probably depart for a job pretty soon. Nah. Okay. Well. I'm surprised he hasn't answered a call yet. Maybe we know what this guy's deal is. Unless who knows, maybe that isn't his deal in this universe. Maybe he's just an office dude doing his work. You never know. Anyway. Uh, we could be a line waiter. We don't... Let's just be a fast food clerk for eight hours. That seems fine. Okay. Oh, uh, did I eat some burgers? Oh, what? Hello? Did I miss something? Where are you, deadbeat? In two days? Okay. Alright, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll get the rent. Oh, hey, you? What do you mean I have to pay you more to keep your mouth shut? Don't joke around, things like that. You know that I do not tolerate blackmail. Huh? Yes, of course. Oh, okay, I, I know you're just kidding. Huh? Fine, I'll be waiting for your call. Bye-bye. Huh. We don't have night vision, um, so we can't really do anything with that cage. I think we've looked up as much as we can for the time being. We just can look up each individual location, but I don't think it'll do much. And I think we already know what to do with this. Okay, well then. In that case, uh, maybe we'll see if we can get another job done. A night cleaner? Sure. We should probably buy another cage since we got the cash. Okay, anything noteworthy? Probably there's something going on here, but we don't have night vision yet. Uh, can we unlock night vision? Oh, you're, you're leaving. Okay. Is that telling me if there's something interesting going on? There we go. Thank you so very much for your applause, dear audience. Thank you, thank you. The She-Wolf of Wall Street. I'm going to continue with my next song, Your Beloved Diva, The She-Wolf of Wall Street, dedicates it to you, to all of you. My heart is topsin' and round and round. When I see you dance, I feel so profound. We're gonna take them by storm, we're gonna burn the place down. I don't have the beat at all. Gonna Just you and me tonight, ain't no one else around. You're sh a shooting star and I'm spellbound. Your heart gives me wings, lifts me off of the ground. We're gonna take them by storm, gonna burn the place down. La 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 la, oh baby, just you and me tonight. Ain't no one else around. Thank you so very much. Oh no, oh oh, I love the feeling uh, from that applause. Thank you, my dear audience. But I have to go now. A kiss from your beloved diva, the she-wolf of Wall Street. Ciao, ciao. Two investors dev devoured in a stock market building. Interesting. Man with a wig. Huh, okay, we're gonna need more than just that. Uh, not available to do that job right now. Okay, we have... 
I guess we might as well go to the store and buy some... Uh, well, let's wait until there's a sale so we can maximize our money. Let's just get some sleep. I saw five hours of sleep. Why not? Okay, let's, let's, we'll buy a new cage, sure. I forget, how many cages do I need by the next time? Oh, we need more money for rent. Oh, drat, drat, I, I spent too much money on cages. Uh... I should have been paying more attention to that. It'll be fine. Surely it'll be fine. Uh, we've got mail. Okay, uh, as club member, observations. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, do I have any observation studies I can do right now? Nope, okay. Sorry about that. Twelve to twenty-one hundred. That's odd now. As it turns out. As soon as the day takes over, we need to do some sort of job. Day two. Your current club rank is level one. Friend of the monkeys. I need nine more cameras to move up to the next level. Yep. Hello. Cage three. For the purpose of enhancing our database behavior, we volunteer uh, collaboration. In which town is cage three located? Okay. What's this? 50% off hot dogs? I guess we could get some hot dogs. Ah, oh, a billboard. The president says change is dangerous. Don't risk it. Vote for Walker. Well, this looks like it might be an important cage. Maybe. Uh, so cage number three is that one. So we, all right, we do actually already have the answer for that. Okay, it is in... Browning Fields. Great. Okay, what's going on? Oh, is he on a call? Or... Oh, hello! Who the heck are you? What are you doing? Okay, any quick jobs we can do? Uh, four hours... Alright, airport's available 24 hours a day, so we'll probably just wait until, like, really late at night to do that one. When nothing else is going on. You, sir! Hello! Hi, Pete. Thanks for coming. <sighs> Thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to get very sick of all this. I have to cross the city twice a day! I need you, Pete. You're my eyes at Crystal Kitchen. No one followed you, right? Of course not. By the way, do you have any idea how hot it is out there? Why can't we just talk on the phone? Impossible, they're probably listening in. This is much less dangerous. Well, he's not wrong. Well, my sister refuses to bring me in her van anymore. So, uh, if I have to keep coming, I demand you get me a car. There is no money. Motorcycle, then, or a damn scooter! There's no money. There's no money. You know that our association has barely enough to stay afloat? Come on, then. Tell me how things have been going in the neighborhood this morning. We're still resisting. The residents are very motivated despite the media manipulation. From what they say, the big fish are on the ropes. Good, we have to keep going like this. Tell our people to redouble their efforts. We're almost there. So there's some sort of rebellion, I guess? Now you should get going. They're about to deliver my food. And we shouldn't be seen together. We have to be discreet. Don't forget about that last accident in our previous headquarters. I get back to Crystal Kitchen and let's meet again at sundown. Oh, come on, don't make me come back later. It's too hot. At least give me a little something to pay for a taxi. <sighs> Bye, Pete. Okay, and you. I have a lot going on at night. Stay up late, working. 
Uh -huh. But I always honor stuff. The best professional at a low cost price. That's my slogan, my motto, my goal. Of course, of course, yeah. I'll send you the numbers to you right now. Goodbye, goodbye. What's this? You have something going on? Road delivery service. Oh, good. Fantastic, fantastic. Let's see, a portion of kamikaze wings and a pot of coronary sauce. Hmm. And what I asked, heart attack, the heart attack chicken dish I ordered. We've run out. We haven't been able to keep up lately. And we won't be receiving a new shipment of... Ahem, chicken meats. Damn, I'm desperate for a piece of that delicious breaded chicken breast. Well, you have to make do with this. Okay, bring it here. Tell me the truth, is that crap really that good? What? You delivered it? You still haven't tried it? I've been there, friend. I've been there. I've seen the ingredients. I've seen the cook. I've seen her kitchen. And believe me, I would never be so stupid as to put any of it in my mouth. I, I, look, I don't have time. Hello, I'm Avon. This is my colleague Ted. We're apostles of the, yeah, the Wyland Witnesses Church. Do you have a minute here? The word of Billy Bob, the Holy Butcher? Sure. Wonderful. I'll tell you a bit about him. Billy Bob, yeah, 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 he got the word. He, he immediately left Ch Chattooga Creek from his birthplace. He went, we won't ask you a favor. We're going to leave this beautiful plant with you. You look after it first, all right? So we'll come back in a few days. And if you're a person, that it'll become more luxuriant and we'll return soon. Great. And believe me, I would never be so stupid as to put any of that in my mouth. Uh, uh... You just blew your tip. He doesn't tip his delivery drivers? Ooh, this guy needs to go down. Anyway, speaking of this guy, let's see. Crystal Kitchen Association Manipulation. Heart attack chicken. Let's look up Crystal Kitchen. Crystal Kitchen declares war on the country. Armed uprising in the rundown neighborhood aims to subvert law and order and democracy. Chaos and pain will the streets. We're crazy. Our sole objective is to cause trouble, declared the spokesperson of the violent terrorist group. Residents fighting for Crystal Kitchen, according to anonymous sources. What's going on? Yeah, yeah you? Okay. More details from this guy? That'll be useful. Yes, yeah, sure. I have the audit results for your company. They're totally reliable, as always. My recommendation? You need to control your expenses. You seem tired? Well, it's that I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Yes, yeah, lots of work. I also have some important decisions to make. And they keep me up at night. I need some good advice, but don't worry. You know me, the best professional at a low-cost price. Okay, low-cost audits. Oops. Low cost audits. Finances. Balance. It's from the government catwalk to the government of the nation. Eleanor Glitter, Miss Diamond Park, new finance minister in the Walker administration. We're sick of sleazy low cost politics, declared the opposition's spokesman. We can we afford to have our country's balance sheets and finances in the hand of a neophyte? Yeah, okay, yeah, I know how the circles work. Okay, this guy is a financial advisor. Financial advisor. Had a low cost financial advisor. Jonathan Dole! Okay, now we look up Jonathan Dole. He's got a... Uh, he has a phone number. What's going on here? Hey, Pete. Thanks for coming again. <sighs> thanks, blah, blah. If you were truly grateful, you wouldn't make me come here twice a day. Come on, Pete. We're all making sacrifices for Crystal Kitchen. But this place is on the 15th floor! It is the damn 15th floor and in the middle of a heat wave. He's got a point. 
You know that neither the association nor I have money to rent anything else. Oh, come on, I'm not talking about moving to Diamond Park. I'm just talking about moving to a building with an elevator. The place is perfect. We blend in here and don't forget the fire in the last building. Come on then, tell me. How have things been going in the neighborhood this afternoon? Our people are still working hard. The movers and shakers in the town are still running scared. Call me by my stage name. Don't call me by my stage name. But it's have to finish the job. We need more posters, more protest signs, more money. What do you mean you need more money? I'm paying you what we agreed. We've got to get them slaughtered. Well, I don't know where to raise more funds. I need help. Help I can get. You really should not pressure me. You know that I do not tolerate direct. I do not tolerate it. Well, I don't know where to raise the money. But this damn media manipulation makes it hard to convince more people. Anyway, where are my casting calls? Where, where are my auditions? I, I need to leave this really life once behind once and for all. Now get back to Crystal Kitchen. Our next meeting will be tomorrow morning at 10.30. You promised to make me a star, a legend, so get moving. Dear God, in this heat, can't we just talk on the phone? And remember, absolute confidentiality, okay? My sister says I'm an idiot for letting you take advantage of me. Stop going around blabbing about my double life. And I'm starting to think she's right, idiots. <sighs> Bye, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Those conversations are fun when read together. Um, right, I wanted to do some airport luggage work or something. Oh, I can be a night cleaner. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We'll do some handling of the airport luggage. Okay. I could do potato chip testing. But I think I want to... Well, I, I need to go... Sh I need to sleep. Okay, let's eat this, uh, this apple here. I guess I could eat a hot dog. Okay, let's sleep for... Yeah, five hours should be reasonable. Do I want to buy another cage first? How much money am I at? 183, but I, I'm going to want to buy some food, so we'll, we'll hold off for now. Have a nice little sleep. Your current club ranking is level 1, friend of the monkeys, days of running 10 likes of validation 3, you have 7 of 9 cameras. Needed to move to the next level. Landlady will be back today. Crystal Kitchen fights for its rights. In a recent video conference, the spokesperson for the association, pushing for revitalization of the neighborhood, vowed that we residents will not rest until we have regained our dignity. Cruel Hex's hyper-smart search engine. Our algorithms have been tracking our users' likes and dislikes for years. Now Prowl knows what interests them even better than they do, said Jacob Hughes, the CEO of the company with the six angle angels, whatever. And let's predict a dirty and hotly contested election. All it takes is a look at the election trends in the last 20 years, said an expert. Manipulation, insults, and dirty tricks have set the tone for all campaigns. Tragedy strikes at the third UV Olympics. The third sunless training Olympics left one one dead and two injured this week. The winner of the competition, Peter Flint, suffered only minor burns. Huh. Oh, we got an email. Cage recording. Sweet. We'll need to buy that. Okay. Oh, also, what's, oh, Heaven Sills Station. So it's gas station, seemingly. Oh, okay. What's this? Two for one on pizzas? Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you want? Hey, hello, are you there? Hello. How's it going? How did your first few days go? I'm doing great. I've almost reached the top. By the way, have you fed them yet? Fed who? The monkeys? You'll see. We're not supposed to talk about this, but nearly everyone does it. 
Almost every one of us feeds the monkeys. It's very tempting, my friend. Plus, paying for the cages is very expensive. What does the cost of the cages have to do with it? Damn, do I have to sell everything out to you? The monkeys are a good source of income. If you're clever and know how to feed them. You have to be very discreet, though. If you don't want to run into problems. Problems with the organization, I suppose? Exactly, you know how it is. If they catch you, you're out. And then there's the police to worry about. If the monkeys figure it out and report you, they could end up bringing the whole club down. Well, I've got to go. Okay, go back to what you were doing. By the way, did you take my advice? What advice? Take care of yourself. Don't let yourself go or things could go south for you. And the club needs us to be in good shape. Try not to eat junk food. Get some exercise. Go to the supermarkets. Make sure you get enough sleep. We'll talk later. Alright, sure thing, Mom.